it's now time for your closing statement. And Mr. Catlin, you have 60 seconds for that. Okay, I would appreciate your support. I, I lived in the Valley all my life and love it here. PUD is a great outfit along with the other utilities. And I think we can all work together and everything will, will work well that way. I uh, am very interested in having your support to run for this office. I think it uh, should be a great experience for me. And I think that the experience I've had will help me do a better job at it. Thank you. Good. Well, thank you, Mr. Catlin, for joining us and for sharing your views with the voters of Kittitas County. Thank you. Mr. Henderson, <clears throat> you now have 60 seconds to make your closing statement. Well, you know, I would appreciate support. Um, you know, I think that I'm a plug and play type of individual. My background, uh, lends very well to uh, the PUD commission. Uh, I've been involved in commissions. I can work effectively uh, with groups and I have government experience, extensive government experience. So I, I'm very familiar with budgeting and rules. So uh, I think I, I'm a really good fit for this position. Uh, I would, I would uh, certainly make it my foremost effort to work towards uh, maintaining our, the maintenance or maintaining our infrastructure and the quality of our infrastructure. I think it's critical that uh, we keep our resources in place. I have an extensive maintenance background, so that's where I want to focus and, and that would be my, my uh, focal point maintenance. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Mitchell, you now have 60 seconds to make a closing statement. Okay. Um, I would like the opportunity to serve as a PUD uh, commissioner. Uh, I think I can bring a lot of uh, things to the table that is, that is unique to my life experiences. Um, I've been involved in budgeting uh, some fairly large projects through my business, through the Ellensburg Rodeo Association. Uh, through my involvement with the Elmview Trust. Um, so I think I'm good at managing money. Uh, I, actually, I know I'm good at managing money, and I, that's why I've been successful for a lot of years. Uh, and I like to think that I'm good at uh, identifying good people and picking good people and, and putting those people in the right position. I think that's probably one of my strengths. Uh, so I, I would appreciate the chance and the opportunity to be the uh, Kittitas County to task PUD District 1 Commissioner. Thank you. Mr. Kelleher, you now have 60 seconds to make your closing statement. FERC, which is the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, puts their hydropower licenses for each dam up for competition every 50 years. In 2001, FERC put up Priest Rapids, Wanapum, and Rocky Reach Dam for competition. We did not compete. In 2007, FERC put up Wells Dam for competition, and we did not compete. In 2023, FERC will put up Rock Island Dam for competition, and we can compete. As your PUD commissioner, I want to compete at FERC and win the Rock Island license to bring lower rates to Kittitas County. Thanks. Thank you. Mr. Morris, you now have 60 seconds to make your closing statement. Thank you for inviting me to be on this kind of experimental form. Uh, I appreciate the time that you put into this, and I appreciate the, the voters educating themselves to get to know the candidates. I want to become the PUD commissioner because I am excited to be able to work in an organization to bring affordable power to all of our residents. I've been very fortunate and worked in 
nonprofits in the past. I've been fortunate in working overseas with people and seeing people that are truly in need. And I hope to bring all of my experiences from working with people, working in business, working with real estate, to be able to serve the PUD customers. The PUD, as I said before, is such a unique thing that we are able to have that I am very much looking forward to just serving the people of Kittitas County with the experiences that I have. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Morris, for joining us and sharing your views with the voters of Kittitas County. Thank you. As we conclude, I want to remind everyone that our ballot should arrive by July 17th, and we have until August 4th to return them. If you're not registered or need to change your address, you have till July 27th to do so online or by mail. After the 27th, you can register, update your registration, and vote in person through 8 p.m. on August 4th at the County Auditor's Office. If you don't get your ballot, please call or visit the County Auditor's Office right away. To get more information about all the candidates running in the 2020 primary, the Kittitas League has created a nonpartisan online voter's guide. You will find links to candidate websites and other helpful resources there. You can get information also at vote411.org and at the Washington Secretary of State's office. Thank you to all the candidates who made time to participate in these events. The Kittitas County League wants to thank the Daily Record newspaper for co-sponsoring the 2020 virtual prim primary forums and to Ellensburg Community Television, Spectrum Network, and Inland Networks for showing the forum videos throughout the county. Finally, thank you to the many League volunteers who made these events possible. Your vote matters. Join me by casting your ballot in the August 4th primary. Thank you.